and welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So in this video, we're going to be talking about a brand new product that Nuelec has just released to market. Now, if you don't know who Nuelec are, then they are a hardware manufacturer based in the States, which produce high quality SDR products at an affordable price. Now, this new product we're going to take a look at is called the Hammer Up Nano. Now, if you own a regular SDR receiver, something like this, which is shown on the screen now, and it's most likely that it's going to cover a frequency range of around 25 megahertz all the way up to 1.7 gigahertz. Now, this means that anything below 25 megahertz, you would not be able to receive with this type of receiver, which is a shame because there is a whole new world of RF below 25 megahertz. So to save purchasing a whole new SDR setup, you can go ahead and get one of these. This is the Hammer Up Nano by Nuelec. Now, Nuelec released a piece of hardware called Hammer Up a few years ago, so you may have heard of the name before. Now, the original Hammer Up was a larger device which required external power via a USB cable. Now, with the Nano, you can power it using the BIOS T, which is found in most decent SDR receivers. This means that the power for the Nano will come from the SDR receiver itself. Now, with the Nano connected between your antenna, obviously an antenna which is designed for 25 megas and below, and your SDR receiver, you can now receive from 100 kilohertz up to 65 megahertz with the Hammer Up Nano in line. Now, as you can see from the photo, it's fairly small and lightweight, only measuring 50 millimeters long and 18 millimeters high. There are three filters, one for input, output, and LO. It's also double shielded against EMI with the external casing and internal shielding too. This will help eliminate any local QRM getting into the Nano. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual Nano itself. So as you can see, it's quite small. Uh, we have two SMA connectors on either end. At this end, the input side, we also have a micro USB port. This is so that you can power it if your SDR receiver does not have bias T. On the other side, we have the output, and this side is where you connect your SDR receiver. You'll also notice that there's an LED which will illuminate once it's powered. This is quite useful to know that your bias T is working or your external power supply is working. So let's go ahead and hook it up to an SDR receiver. This one, I'm going to use a Nuelec SDR. Now, you can use any SDR uh, receiver which has a bias T output, or like I said, if it doesn't have a bias T, you can go ahead and use a uh, an external power supply, but this one, this provides a bias T, a nice five volts, uh, which will power the Nuelec Hammer Up Nano. So first thing I need to do is just get an SMA adapter, just so that I can plug the SDR receiver directly into the Nano. Now once that's done, I just need to hook up my HF antenna. Uh, the antenna I'm using for this example is an NFED half wave multi-band, uh, 80 meters all the way through to 10 meters and upwards. And now I just need to plug it into the computer via a little USB extension lead. You notice there that the uh, white LED, power LED, is now illuminated. This shows that it's got power and it should be operating fine. Okay, so let's jump over to SDR Sharp and I'll show you how you set up the software. So the first thing we need to do is just tell SDR Sharp which type of SDR receiver we've got connected. So from the drop down menu on the top left, I'm selecting RTL SDR USB because mine's an RTL SDR type receiver. The next setting that we need to put in is the shift. Now, this is because it's an up converter. The Nano is an up converter. We're going to shift it by uh, 125 megahertz and you actually shift it down. So do minus 125 and then do six zeros. Press the setup cog and just make sure that the offset is selected. And also, if you want to, you can tick the automatic gain controls so that the software takes control of the gain. Now, if you find that it's overloading, then just disable that and use the manual slider itself. As you can see here, we're now on 20 meters and we're receiving. So let's go ahead and go through some different bands and see what we can pick up. So that's 80 meters. You can see quite there on the waterfall that there's quite a lot of signals. Uh, I think I have some QRM as well. So there may be some of these peaks which uh, uh, wouldn't normally be there. Uh, this is the uh, uh, price that we have to pay these days for uh, all our electronics comforts in our home. So let's move on to 40 meters and see how that looks. Delta, kilowatt, 
Taiwan, Japan. CQ, CQDX, CQDX. A Delta, Kilowatt 7, Lima, Japan. A Delta, Kilo 7, Lima, Juliet, calling DX and North. Italy, United 2. Italy, Hotel, Mexico. Mexico 8, Ontario, Foxtrot, Quebec, Sealing Pacific 8, Central East, QDX, I'm listening. Italy, Uniform 3, Mike, Oscar Delta. So you can see there's quite a bit of activity on 40 meters. Unfortunately, not very many of them were extremely strong. I think that's more down to the fact is the time of day and the fact is that the HF band uh, on 40 meters or even across all of them is not particularly active today. OK, so let's go ahead and have a look at 20 meters. So let's jump down to medium wave, see what uh, we can pick up uh, on the normal kind of broadcast medium wave band. Including possible regulatory forbearance. I repeat, we will do whatever it takes. Second, as well as access to finance, business... As the Hammet Up Nano covers HF, we can also go ahead and do some decoding of some of the digital streams. In this case, let's try decoding a DRM radio station. Daisy ne nie pas les exactions commises par les séparatistes. Comme beaucoup, elle exprime surtout son immense fatigue d'assister impuissante à cette guerre dont elle ne comprend plus le sens. Now, when you start going down to the HF frequencies, you're going to find all sorts of different types of transmissions. And one of those transmissions that you're going to come across is RITI. And uh, this particular frequency that I'm tuned to now, it looks like it's transmitting some kind of weather data uh, in RITI. Let's have a little listen to what it sounds like. And as you can see on the screen, this is what it's decoding. Well, there we go, guys. That's the Nuelec Hammer Up Nano, a brand new product on the market. Now, if you've got a SDR receiver that bottoms out at like 25 megs, then go ahead, get yourself one of these, and you're going to open up your whole listening experience because you're going to be able to go from 100 kilohertz up to 65 megahertz uh, using the Hammer Up Nano Up Converter. I'll leave a link down in the description where you can go ahead and purchase these from my Amazon stores, and the links are for USA or UK, and you can also get it for your local Amazon for your country. Now, if you guys already own one of these, please leave a comment down below and I'll be really interested to know how you guys are getting on with this product. I think it's a pretty neat product itself. The new Elec team are always knocking out some really cool uh, devices, uh, taking us by surprise. I'd also like to say a massive thank you to my current patrons. If you want to get involved with that, go to patreon.com forward slash techminds. And until the next video, guys, you take care and I'll see you in the next one.